Let's talk about this equation. If you watch some of my other videos, you may have seen it, especially in my discussion about the so-called angel numbers. This equation lets you create any number with a repeating digit. There are of course countless of equations that will do this. I explored many of them trying to come up with different ways of representing the number 666. But let's focus on the original equation. The reason I like this particular expression is that it depicts a convenient mechanic. You can choose any digit and convert it to any basic repeating number you desire, so long as you pick an integer from 1 to 9. Let us use 2 for this illustration. The first term divides this integer by 9. This basically creates a repeating decimal of that digit. Now, the 10 to the n lets you multiply this number to however many place values you desire. Let's say you want 5. This takes our number to 5 10 place values. And the last term simply cuts off the fraction and we have our angel number. It's a pretty simple and convenient equation. You can also use the floor function to make your math look fancy. It looks kind of like a bracket with a missing top. It simply means that you cut off the fraction after the decimal. Basically a fancy way of rounding down. Interestingly enough, if you want to express the floor function as an actual algebraic math expression, it gets quite complicated. Just look at this evil equation. Infinite sums, trig, lots of fun. Ah yes, the dark abyss of math opens up again, ready to rip the flesh of one's fragile brain. Even something as simple as getting rid of a fraction part of a number becomes a nightmare of satanic math symbols. So let's just stick to this equation. This is simple math, right? Nah, <laughs> I don't think so. Let's make the n into the x and make the x a complex number. I love how complex numbers just create math. With them you can make even the most innocent looking equation a nightmare. I also love making these videos, so if you like this one, consider sharing it. And as always, thanks for watching.